How's it going everyone? Welcome to Color for Peacocks. Here's a short update of my uh, breeding tanks and their status. Guys, I just cannot produce enough fry to keep up. I can't even grow them up in time and they get sold out pretty much. Sold a bunch of fry to a guy in Long Island recently. This tank started out with, uh, let's say, more than 20 OBs and OB uh, Crosswood Dragon Blood, uh, OB Crosswood Strawberry Dragon Blood. I'm down to a few uh, Dragon Blood looking fish left. Almost sold out. This tank started out with 30 plus 40 Ruby Reds, regular Ruby Reds, Thailand variety. Sold about at least half of it. Got all the smaller ones left. Trying to grow them out as soon as possible. Up here, this stud. Recently, I just stripped his daughter, a bunch of eggs out of his daughter's mouth. Part of my line breeding project. And unfortunately, I'm only seeing three or four good eggs out of that batch that's being tumbled in my 29 gallon high. Yeah, most of those eggs are duds. Unfortunately, they didn't, uh, I didn't observe them do their spawning dance for like more than a couple of minutes and the daughter's kind of, kind of, uh, well, I wouldn't just say the daughter, both of them are kind of uh, inexperienced, they didn't do the spawning properly, you know what I'm saying. And I waited five days too before stripping her. That's her right there on the upper right hand corner. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed. We'll have to wait one more month and try it again. That's the stud that I'm trying to bring back to his uh, red hot jeans. So far, the uh, strawberries that, that I have aren't as red and pink as him. It's crazy pink and fluorescent too. Iridescent blue. So, and then I got the, uh, I got a couple of uh, ruby red females in, in there with him. So I'm looking to produce some strawberry cross ru ruby reds, just to see how they turn out. Here he comes. Just, you just can't beat that strawberry quality in him. So far, I haven't had too much success with uh, getting fry from him though. So still working on it. It's been a year now, it's challenging. Hopefully I can be rewarded in the end. Got two batches of uh, eggs tumbling. Started recently, OB crossed with strawberry, OB crossed with ruby on the right hand side. These OB rubies are almost ready to be transferred over to the fry box. Give it another three to five days, maybe. And these OB cross with strawberries. By the way, there's my OB male. He's up there chilling. Chilling, trying to recover his energy. You've seen him in my previous videos before. He just wants some ladies. <laughs> Let's take a look at this. His eggs. Ob's Ob crossed with strawberries. Now these ones are about a week behind the ones on the right. And um, when I first stripped it, there was, I swear to God, more than 115 eggs in one batch. The most I've ever gotten out of a female. And um, not all of them are fertile though. I've had to get rid of eggs that uh, turn to fungus 
quite a few of them. I had to get rid of them, suck them out. So I must have gotten rid of at least 20 of the bad ones. So I'm guessing I've got close to at least 90 of them left, hopefully. It doesn't look that many, but when I actually go and count it, I was surprised it was a lot. Yeah, by far the most, uh, the highest number I've ever gotten out of a batch. So, we'll see how they turn out. Stay tuned for future updates. Thank you for watching. And have a happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Well, this guy's about to spawn with another dragon blood female. Good luck with that.